Since returning to royal duties after their summer break, Prince William and Kate, Duchess of Cambridge have conducted several solo engagements, which royal commentator Victoria Murphy claims is a sign of Kate's confidence in her royal duties. With less working members of the royal family available to support the Queen, the Duke and Duchess of Cambridge are able to cover more ground by attending different official engagements. Speaking to the Mail Plus podcast Palace Confidential, Royal Correspondent Victoria Murphy said, Interestingly, I was thinking about this the other day, about how William and Kate have recently seemed to be doing a lot of separate engagements and I do wonder if that's perhaps just because they can cover more ground. There are not as many working royals since Harry and Meghan left and they can get through a lot more if they're doing separate engagements. Also, it probably reflects the fact that she in particular, has really grown in her position and confidence and is very happy to do big engagements on her own now, and they have their own causes as well now. On Friday, Kate impressed tennis fans as she took to the courts with US Open champion Emma Raducanu for a quick game of doubles. The Duchess of Cambridge is a well-known tennis fan, and is frequently spotted in the Royal Box during the annual Wimbledon Championships, where she is patron for the All Engand Lawn Tennis Club. Dressed in a navy tennis outfit, Kate arrived at the National Tennis Centre in Roehampton where she congratulated the 18-year-old Emma Raducanu on her recent success. She also met with men's wheelchair champions Alfie Hewitt and Gordon Reed, as well as men's doubles champion Joe Salisbury. Following a photo opportunity, the group took to the tennis courts for a quick game of doubles, where the Duchess could be seen laughing with her partner, Emma Raducanu. Following the game, the young US Open champion described the Duchess forehand as incredible. As part of her visit, Kate also spent time meeting with teenagers who are part of the LTA Youth Programme, which is aimed at inspiring young tennis players between the ages of 4 to 18. A statement released by Kensington Palace said, Her Royal Highness is passionate about supporting grassroots tennis and encouraging young people from all backgrounds to become involved in the sport. Last week also saw Kate spend the day in the Lake District where she met with young Air Force cadets at their newly refurbished Windermere Training Center. After a morning of mountain biking and abseiling, the Duchess went and spent time with Holocaust survivors, who were known as the Windermere children. Shortly after the Second World War, 300 young children and teenagers came to the Lake District for a period of rehabilitation following the trauma they had endured. The Duchess spoke to two elderly survivors and members of their families, to hear about their experiences. As her first engagement following the summer holidays, Kate visited RAF Bryce Norton, where she met with military personnel who had participated in evacuating British citizens and Afghani civilians following the Taliban takeover of Afghanistan. Both Prince William and Kate had taken several weeks of holiday over the summer, in order to spend time with their three young children. Meanwhile, the Duke of Cambridge has been busy attending the Who Cares Win Awards in London, as well as visiting Dulwich Hamlet Football Club and announcing the finalists for his Earthshot Prize.